Has there ever been a comic you just want everyone you know to stop what they're doing and go out and buy and support? That's what this series is. Just me gushing about comics I love and why I love them. I originally planned on making the inaugural episode about Matt Fraction's Hawkeye, but then something a bit more urgent came up. I discovered a more recent comic. I think it was cancelled too soon. That comic would be The Unstoppable Wasp by Jeremy Whitley. The comic centers on Nadia, the previously unknown teenage daughter of Hank Pym and his first wife Maria Trovea, having recently escaped from her lifelong captivity in Russia's Red Room. She has three missions, prove her parentage to gain citizenship, rescue her best friend Ying from the Red Room, and put together the Genius in Action Research Lab, or GIRL, a lab with some of the smartest young women of the Marvel Universe. Yeah, that's a big thing I should mention. The comic was written to encourage young women to pursue science and engineering. This isn't something touched on once, then forgotten about, though. It comes up multiple times throughout the 8-issue run. This comes in facts about subjects like biology, robotics, dinosaurs, and physiology, interviews with real-life female scientists and engineers, and, well, just the protagonist's positive attitude towards science. And seriously, Nadia is such a fun character. Under some creative teams, a character who lived her entire life held captive by assassins may be written as bitter and cynical, but not Nadia. Through most of the series, she is portrayed as positive and optimistic, adding to the fun tone of the book. Because yes, this book is incredibly fun. From the positivity, the humor, hell, even the artwork is fun. Elsa Cartier's artwork on the first seven issues perfectly matches the spirit and energy of the series, and Ted Brandt's more cartoonish artwork for issue 8 is still incredibly fitting and is not at all out of place despite being a one-issue fill-in artist. Another great thing about the series is the way it played with decades-old Marvel continuity. From the inclusion of Maria Trovea, to references to the mansion era of the Avengers, to actually remembering that Mockingbird was a scientist when she was first created, and not just Hawkeye's ex-wife who hits things with sticks. Side note, after reading the earliest appearances of Man-Thing, I actually think of Bobby Morse as a scientist before I think of her as a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. This doesn't have much to do with the topic at hand, just, just you know, a little insight into me. I just love this series. It seems just about every issue had at least one moment that gave me tears of joy. That's mostly because of how positive the comic is. Maybe I'm just a very emotional person, but I have to give props to anything that can invoke that sort of reaction in me. The one thing I've thought since I started reading the series was that if I had a daughter, this is a comic I would definitely encourage her to read. The comic just ended last summer, and the last trade just came out in February, so the series should be pretty easy to get a hold of, I actively encourage everyone to seek out this comic the next time they visit their local comic shop. And with that, I just want to thank you for watching, hope you stick around for more, and hey, maybe send this video to someone who might enjoy it, or better yet, just start talking to people about this series. This is not a series that should be forgotten. Tell everyone who might enjoy it to seek it out. Seriously. Just, this is really my end goal with this video. I just want more people to know about this comic. So, yep, thanks for watching.